All right. Next hashtag Q&A from the live chat from the Buffalo Bills post game. Uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. He's such a good singer. Yeah, I know. Um, Bills fan 7083, what benefits Allen more uh, development wise? A player type like AJ Green, so talking about a big, you know, aggressive, big bodied wide receiver, or Zach Ertz, you know, the same sort of the same Ooh. thing at, a, uh, at the tight end position. So, piece of candy. Well, and truthfully, both big needs for the Bills. So, if you are looking to develop from Josh Allen, are you looking at um, AJ Green being the pivotal type player? that can get you over that hump from a development? Or do you think it's that interior help with Zach Ertz? <laughs> Subscribe now! Wow, it's such an excellent question. Well, and both big needs for the Bills. Like, oh, you absolutely. can't tell me that tight end and wide receiver aren't. Can I get both? No, you can't get both. If I only pick one. Zach Ertz set a record for most uh, receptions <laughs> by tight end in an NFL season today. Beaten Witten, that's yeah. right. Yep. And, and McCaffrey set the one for uh, running backs. That's they're running him straight to the dirt. They want to get out of that contract before the fifth year. <laughs> 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 they're running him straight to the dirt. Seems like they do. Zach Ertz or AJ Green? You want somebody on that Well, I think you could you could uh, and, and remove the names, right? Where those are just those are just comparative. Okay, no, what I'm saying yeah, just is you want you want a big a big name tight end that could be a mismatch nightmare, or you have a, a number one wide receiver that is an elite level talent that you would have to scheme to get him in different spots near the right. end of the year because he could be taken out of the play. Right. Uh, he ends up. <clears throat> the guy on the outside takes people with him. Yep. The guy on the inside can offer blocking. Right. Um, which, like we said on the broadcast, not many of the tight ends that are coming out now are really premier blockers. They're more right. of like the hybrid mismatch type. Yep. I like it for – if Allen was in his fifth year, I would want the outside guy. Right. But because he's a young, developing, you know, quarterback, I would rather have the inside presence – because then that eventually opens up the outside guy. Right. Um, I don't know if the Bills are going to do that mm -hmm. because they have Kroom and they have Logan Thomas, who they're taking a look at now. Right. Kroom has been serviceable. He was blocking inside on trap plays today. You know what I mean? He's he's a guy that they think can, can service both of those needs for you. And if they're able to do that and they're sold on Kroom, then they're going to look they're going to look to get the fringe guys. Right. Um, but, I mean, it's such an excellent question because I would not be against either one. Yeah. And I, I would know why they were getting each of them. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so, both of them positions will take guys out of the box. Mm -hmm. Both of those guys will then open up your running game, which in turn opens up the play-action pass. So, I just think a wide receiver is much, uh, is much easier to neutralize in a game, mm -hmm. in a big game, than a tight end is. Right. Uh, just me. I don't know. That's... So, <clears throat> when you start looking at the draft, right? Okay. And, and we'll just use, and I, I dislike this site for a variety of reasons, but just for simplicity's sake, we'll use because a lot of people use it. It's Make Walter sure you football. clear your browser. Walter Football is what we'll use, just real quick. Okay. I do not like Walter Football. I don't think they do a I, they do a good job of keeping everything updated. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it, but it's something that everybody can go to. Yes. So if we're looking at Walter Football ranking the top five wide receivers, right? The tallest one is six foot one in this upcoming draft. Nope. Okay. So AJ Brown from Ole Miss, six one. Um, Who's the stud? Paris Campbell, about? six foot from Ohio State. Debo Samuel, six foot from uh, the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Marquise Brown, five eleven from OU. Oklahoma. Uh, Kelvin Harmon is 6'2 from NC State. Um, not a big fan of him. Um, I mean, he runs good routes. You know, I'm not going to tell you that he doesn't run good routes, mm -hmm. but for a guy that size, he's, he's 6'2, 218, so he's just a little bit thinner than, than what I'm looking for. Um, I, don't, I don't think he's aggressive enough. Uh, Colin Johnson from Texas. Um, 
he is 6'5", 220. So, I mean, does That's he have lanky. the build? Yeah, it is lanky, but he doesn't he doesn't play big at all. Um, he's not, what was Megatron? He's not super quick. 6'5", 240? Nah, I think but he so. ran like a 4'2". I know, he was sick. <laughs> he was sick. He was sick. Um, there is uh, Keneal Harry from Arizona State. Uh, reminds me of, of Laquan Treadwell. Pass. Um, and then you get to the most likely candidate, which is uh, a wide receiver from Stanford, uh, JJ Arcejo Whiteside. Uh, six foot three, two twenty five. Um, what? He sounds like that name sounds like a guy. If you're in your sixth season of franchise mode in Madden, he's yeah. like the best quarterback on the board. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, he's, and he's, for some reason, he's, you know, you look at him, you're like, why is he Asian? It's just like a generated face, like, why is he Asian? But the fact is, like, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of those big body guys at the top of the board, right? Um, our C.J. Whiteside, I like a lot from Stanford, um, because I, I he, he does, he'll, he'll be a decent player. Is he going to be an immediate impact player? Where is he no. from? Uh, Stanford. Pac-12. Stop it with your Pac-12 conversation. They have route runners. They do have route runners. You're right. They're polished. So uh, he's a big receiver who has speed issues. Uh, I've seen that before. Plays in a pro. <laughs> plays in a pro style. Yeah. Uh, 55 catches for 860 and 14 touchdowns. Red zone throw. Yeah. Exactly. All right. But all right. But I think it's important just to kind of level set. Like, oh yeah, we need a big bodied receiver. Well, the one has to be available. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're looking at it, again, using just Walter Football's ranking, he's like the eighth or ninth best receiver on the board. So you're not looking at a first-round player, right? If that's who you're targeting, you're looking at Okay. Third, All right, so second that, that begs player. the question of this. And you can look it up. Mm-hmm. But as you're looking at uh, free agent tight ends, yeah. as yeah. you look those up, let me ask you this. We're talking about a wide receiver and we're talking about a tight end. Yeah. Do you want to draft both of them? Do you want to draft the receiver? get a free agent tight end? Do you want to get a free agent wide receiver draft tight end? Or do you want to get free agent both? I think it depends on your arc of how competitive you want to be next year. Right? Because wide receivers take a little bit of time to develop. They the do. Tight ends are a little bit more plug and play. Okay. Um, so if you're looking at immediate impact, you sign the wide, you sign the free agent draft the tight end, you're going to have more immediate impact that way. If you draft the wide receiver and then sign the tight end... Um, he can be that bridge for you. He's on Right, yeah. He could take guys off of the wide receiver. Right, so exactly. Goes. Right, exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Um, okay. I like it. I, I mean, I, I like the idea of that. Do you think that, well, before we look at the time, do you think that the, the, they're throwing in the towel in 2019? Knowing how good this defense is, and it won't be like this forever. No. I'm just saying. I don't think, I, I think they understand that there's a talent level on this team that's, that's, hedging a bit, right? Like, they've guessed right. They they did good. Yes. Right? And you can't guarantee this level of production forever. Um, especially when you, you're you clearly looking at the concern of Lost Kyle Williams, Lorenzo Alexander. Yeah, Heine yeah. and Poyer are not going to be at the level that they're at in two seasons. Like, no, no. The, so, the best season that they have is probably this. This and next year. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. there's there's declining returns that you're going to get from those guys. I think you kind of have to jump on it and say, listen, we need to put this offense and at least make the team competitive enough to give us a chance to be in games. They don't even have that ability right Yeah, now. that's a great point. Okay, um, tight ends. Tyler Eifer, Jared Cook, Luke Wilson, Josh Hill, Mercedes Lewis, Lance Kendricks. I mean, do you want me to keep going? Max Williams, um, Logan Paulson. I mean, it's a dreadful group. Um, Tyler Croft, Jeff Hewerman. Wow. It's a bad group of tight ends. Wow. So that's why, again, the draft is going to be sort of... Paramount. Yeah. All right, try to get a free agent wide out and draft the tight end. Yeah, because the, the tight ends in the... the tight ends available in the draft are going to be, a, you know, a, a little bit better. What if they keep Clay and sign Golden Tate? How mad would you be? Because the joy of getting one is going to take away from the other. Yeah, you know, 
I think that you just look at it and say, well, I mean, unless they're using that spot to draft offensive linemen. If they okay. go, if they right. go line, 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 line across the board, so things to look for, basically. Yeah, coming up. I would I like accept. It. I would accept Charles Clay just as long as their focus was on rebuilding that offensive line. I, I would be able to accept that. Okay, so if they're not sold on the current tight ends, they decide to give him, let him play out his last year. Yeah, he's going to be in a contract year technically, so you get the best play out of him while you draft and fill your line. Uh, well, and again, you while it won't be popular right, I'm just saying it won't be popular right now. Mm-hmm. That decision. Looking down the line, I I could see that vision if they're trying to get a lot of linemen in here and not waste that second or third round pick on a tight end. Well, and again, which I don't think they would anyway. A heavy defensive draft is the perfect time to rebuild your offensive line through the draft because a lot of people are going to be you know moving to try and get linebackers and cornerbacks and defensive ends and that offensive talent's going to go down, 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 and you're going to have a better pick if that's going to be your focus. So you're going to get better quality offensive talent because there's going to be less fish in the pond. You know, True like there's story. less there's less people fishing. I really think they're going to get the best tackle on the board. They very well could. They absolutely very but well could. We we do know the last time that they, I mean, they're currently slated ninth. Mm-hmm. Remember the last time it happened when they were slated ninth? Didn't they trade that? They traded for Watkins. Sammy Watkins. Yeah. When they should have taken Khalil Mack. No. Khalil Mack. No. Well, they traded up. No, I say they, they shouldn't have. You, Oh, they should have just drafted Taylor Juan at nine and Jordan Matthews at the second round because you know that's, that's what a reasonable happen. team should have done at that time. I don't know. We were sitting in an office in Tanawa or in Amherst, <laughs> and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs that you know Taylor Juan's the best tackle in in, in the draft, and uh, the Bills trade up. We're like, oh, Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack, Sammy Watkins, and no first round pick the next year. What would you do for Taylor Lewan on this team? I do a lot of questionable things for Taylor Lewan on this team. It is the season of giving. Oh, 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 episode over. Episode over.